So you've got a funny looking uh, beam bridge there. Yeah, a bit odd. But it's a horizontal support and all the load is pressing down on the two bricks underneath. That's right. So those bricks are... In compression. Now uh, use your hand, make, show me as, as if the bricks would be yeah, angled. I get just, uh, yeah, there you go. Imagine if both of them were angled like that. Well, they'd still be in compression. All the force is still going downwards. So the, the load is transferred from the deck down to the ground. Through these beams. And it's still compression. And what if it was uh, the supports were at an angle or it looked like an arch? Yeah, it'd Let's still see. be in compression. Here, I tell you what, take the uh, take that away, okay. and then just use your arms. Yeah. To make a an arch. So if we had an arch like that, instead of columns being upright, we kind of pushed them together and curved it. All the force would still be going through that curve, and it'd still be in compression. Okay, now we've got a real arch. There we go. Something like this. So that's uh, almost semicircular, like the Romans used to do. And uh, it's a couple of thin pieces of walnut glued together, laminated together. I don't know if you can see it. Can hardly even tell, even in person. Okay. And that whole thing weighs about two pounds. So when you put a and that uh, when you put a load on it, that sound you're hearing is the legs of the arch being pushed apart from each other. Because when I apply a load to the top of this arch, all the force kind of wants to some of the force wants to push the legs apart from each other. Right. Like that. So that when you push down, all the, the load goes through, goes through the arch down to the ground, but some of them, some of that force is in the horizontal direction. Yep. Now, just by itself, that arch is not going to hold very much. Not at all. What are we going to do? Well, we can do one thing, and that's tie the ends together. Because if we had enough of a load on this thing, it'd be, there'd be so much force going sideways that the entire thing would collapse. So the only thing we can really do right now to prevent the legs from spreading apart is to tie it off. Okay. So we've got line going through the ends of the arch. You know how to cinch it up there? Just Maybe. Pull it tight. And you want me to just wrap it around the... Well, no, pull it real tight. Oh, yeah. Good. And then try and... yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just wrap it, let friction do all the work. Well, gonna wrap it a lot. Yeah. There's a lot of tension going into this. Should be good. Okay. That's about right. So you're pulling the ends of the arch together. You're tying the ends of the arch. Like the Fremont Bridge is a tied arch. There we go. That's perfect. And here we go, it's tied off. So there's a lot of tension in those two ties. And even more if I were to push down on it. And you but can, that sound isn't coming anymore. That's because the legs can't really move apart from each other. But when you press down, the, 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 the strings actually get tighter. Absolutely, might be a bit hard to see. But they do get a bit tighter. Okay, so that's, uh, tied arch. So, uh, good. Get rid of that, and let's get up with the next.